Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today it is time for the second update, is that right? Yes, second update of the 2022 Project Pan. Things are coming along, some things are, you know, doing better than others, but that's how all these projects go. Let's just get right into the update and see how we did on everything. All right, I'm gonna start with eyeliners first. Um, the first one is the Almay Intense Eye Color in Raisin Quartz. I've had this in since January of last year and we are still not finished this yet. Um, I was getting kind of hopeful, sort of, last month thinking like, all right, there's a chance, there's a chance. And it did kind of seem like that as I was using it. Um, it was kind of seeming like it was getting a little drier, but then this past week it started to not get as dry and seems to be refilling itself. I don't know. But anyway, I used this 21 times since the last update and 104 times total since last January. So 21 is a lot of usage on this in one month for me. Um, so you can tell that I'm really, really um, trying to move it out. <laughs> I really am focused on using this as much as possible. I don't use it around the whole entire eye every single time I use this. Um, sometimes I just use it on the bottom. Like today I have black on the top, this on the bottom. Just keep that in mind. But no, it is not done yet. We will see, but I'm very determined to continue using this a lot over the next month or two or however long it takes to get this thing out of my collection, even though I do still enjoy it. You know what I mean? Like it's just been over a year now. So I'm kind of like, all right, very motivated to move it out. <laughs> I have this Wet n Wild Color Icon Copper Eyeliner. My goal is to use this up halfway from when I started. Arced it up in this book and it has not come down at all since the last update, but I only used it four times since the last update. So the goal is to get all the way down to here. I still have a while to go with this. Because I've been so focused on the other eyeliners, this just hasn't gotten as much love as it could have. So I'm not surprised about that at all. I mean, it happens, but it is a great eyeliner and I just really need to focus on it more. I think once the Almay one is done, I will be a little bit better about using this more often. Um, but yeah, I used it four times since the last update and 16 times total since bringing it in in January. So it's coming along. The final eyeliner in my eyeliner category is this Avant Black Eyeliner. And the goal with this is also the same to use this um, halfway from when it started. So I ended up using this a little bit more than the Wet n Wild one. I used this seven times, similar to the Almay one. Sometimes I do around the whole eye, but usually it's like the top and then not the bottom type of thing to make it less harsh for daytime. We are up to this line right here and I wanna get all the way down to here. So yeah, um, it did come down a little bit, kind of the same increment as the last time. And I really don't foresee me using a whole lot of this each month it's probably going to be the same thing every month to be honest if not less because as you know things get warmer and then eventually when school lets out i can't see myself using this a whole lot but we'll ride it out and see but yeah i have the whole year to get down to my goal so we shall see if that actually happens this year and or just you know if I feel the need to change the goals, I will change the goals. All right, moving into eyeshadows, we're gonna do the Modern Renaissance palette. My goal with this was to hit five times on almost every eyeshadow in here. Um, I say almost because I'm not including Bon Fresco. That I had a 30 times usage last year, so I just decided to not worry about that one this time around. Did hit my goal on six of the eyeshadows that I'm trying to hit five on, so that's really cool. And some I didn't even really touch at all this past month, which is interesting. Um, like, I don't think I touched Antique Bronze at all, which is one of my favorite shades in here. I think because I know it's one of my favorites, I'm trying to, like, work on the ones that aren't as much um, my favorite or as easy for me to want to reach for. So I didn't use that one. Cypress Umber. I didn't use Burnt Orange, it seems like. Um, I think I was just so focused on trying to use these red ones and the pink one. And... Yeah, so last update I only hit my goal on one of them so it increased by five more shadows and you know I think by next update I would like to have this palette rolled out. Since my deck of panning palette has rolled out I think that I, it, that'll help me focus on this a little bit more. The next so. two eyeshadows in this project were Rose, which is a MAC pigment, and the shade Golden Olive, which is also a MAC pigment. And my goal is to use these both 10 times total. And yeah, I didn't really get as much usage on these as I was expecting or hoping to. So I only used Rose once since the last update, bringing my total to four out of 10 times, which yeah. 
just used that once. This one I used two times since the last update. So that brings this to five out of 10 times. So I'm kind of surprised that <laughs> the green one has more usage than the, you know, pinkier, rosier one. Cause I for sure thought like green really isn't my thing. Like I'm wearing this today, actually. I like to wear this when I film. Um, but I think the reason is, I just don't think that rose is that interesting of a color to me, which is weird for me to say because it's not like I wear the most interesting, crazy eyeshadow looks, but I think this kind of tends to just fade into the background and I'm just not as interested. Like other things catch my eye more than this, hence more usage on this. Not by much, but yeah, I use that one a little bit more and my palettes, just everything else seems more interesting even for someone who doesn't really do crazy eye makeup looks. So I don't get that, but I would like to use this more as with everything. We'll see what happens next time. I mean, all this is just very interesting to me, like what I end up reaching for and what my reasonings are. I was saying like, oh, I, I hope to use this three or four more times because of St. Patrick's Day and it's March. That didn't help that cause at all. I only used it two more times. So, but it's still two more times than I probably would have otherwise. So I'm happy with that and Again, we have the whole year. So I keep thinking to myself, like time is running out and all of a sudden time is not running out. Like <laughs> I need to, I need to chill out. The Wet n Wild Strike a Pose Rose Blush that I'm trying to hit pan on, like real actual pan. And I say that because there's fake pan in there from when I dug my nail in there. I did not reach natural pan, but I also didn't use this as much as I have been using this blush every month. I only use this blush seven times over the past month since the last update. And I'm normally used to using this like double that amount, but I think just feeling a little discouraged at how much I believe it's going to take to hit pan. I've just been kind of, kind of looking at other blushes to use and rotate because I'm just not as motivated with this anymore. Um, I still really like it and enjoy it. I just, I'm a little, little tired of it a little discouraged. I don't know if like seeing that little gash in there was a blessing or a curse at this point <laughs> because it, it, it both helped me kind of not feel as obsessed with trying to pan it, but then it did push me to use other blushes more too. So I don't know. So that brings me to 95 times total since bringing it in like last year at some point. It wasn't the beginning of the year, but yeah, so no pan. Sonia Kashuk contour stick. So here we are and I'm trying to finish this up. So this I brought in, I believe in February of last year and I am trying to finish it. And I did say, I think it might take me till the end of this year, closer to like fall, winter before I finish this one. But here's where we are now. And I used this 11 times since the last update, bringing me up to 163 times since February of last year. So, I will put the picture up. It is starting to show the E now, and it wasn't quite at that point last time. So the E is peeking through a little bit more, and that is great. So <laughs> I see that it's coming down. I really still love this bronzer. Um, and the fact that I still love this after using this for over a year now says something about this product. Unfortunately, SK or Sonia Kashuk doesn't make this anymore, but it's not like there isn't a dozen bajillion more cream contours out there that probably do the same exact thing. So, and the next one, the next bronzer slash contour that I'm using is the Hoola bronzer. So this guy I'm trying to use 30 times and I use this six times since the last update, bringing me up to 17 times out of 30. So I'm over halfway towards my goal of using this 30 times. Really enjoyable product still. This is super old, as you can tell by the packaging and yeah, I have natural pan in there. Never had this in a project or anything. I just had it for that long, way long, and enjoying it. I really enjoy it, and that's that's the point. So I'm over halfway, and I may or may not reach that by next time. We shall see. The Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder, I am trying to finish this year. I think it depends how you settle it, but it was, it's been really difficult to try to see if there was any difference. And to me, there wasn't enough of one to mark it up. I use it pretty much every day when I use wear makeup. So take that into consideration. And I think eventually it'll become more obvious that there is usage um, in terms of visually seeing it through lines. But 
I just have not been able to. I don't really pile it on though when I wear it, so it probably didn't even come down a whole lot despite using this every single day, so I'm not that surprised by this, but I know I use it every single day. Let's talk about lip products. I'm gonna start with this Wet n Wild Glassy Gloss. This is a lip gel discontinued a while ago, and I am now down to here. So there, that was the last update. We're down to here, very predictable. Comes down the same amount pretty much every month. And yeah, it hasn't settled yet, but I, that's why I marked it earlier. Um, yeah, so there's not a whole lot left in here. I think I'd give this maybe like three more months before I finish it completely. I love using this. It's a really good product. It's very smooth. I try not to pile any of my lip glosses on. Just enough so you can feel the moisture, but not too much where you're like eating it. You know what I mean? Next product is the ColourPop Truth Bomb Lip Oil. It's the Lux Lip Oil. For this, I was here last time and I came down to here. Still not crazy about the weird smell that this has. I only bought this last year, so I'm wondering why it's smells so odd. Um, I don't know if it's just because it's a lip oil. Also, this was more of a clearance item. It was majorly marked down. So I'm wondering if it's even older than I think it is. But either way, um, I found my way to use this that I'm happy with. Like I said with the other lip gloss, I don't pile it on. I do one swipe and let it go. It doesn't make your lips super shiny, but just adds enough moisture where it makes your lips comfortable. So I've really been liking that just as an alternative to the more glossy version, you know, like they're two different types of formulas. So it's nice to have that choice. So I'm just really excited that I found a way that I like to use it. I don't think that this is going to come down by a ton each month though. That might be as much as I get to use every single month. You know what I mean? Just based on how I apply it. We'll see. I mean, things change as other things get booted out or whatever, but that's what I foresee for that. At first I thought it was going to be quicker moving, but I don't know, the way I decided to use it, especially with that strange smell. Some might say like just declutter the thing. Found a way to make it work in a way where it doesn't bother me. So I'm just gonna stick with that. Next product is the Clarins Rosewood Shimmer Lip Gloss. This one is their Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. And I finished this guy. I finally finished it. <laughs> I'm so excited. I had this in since last March and it has been a ride with this guy. Um, the fact that it lasted that long, which shouldn't surprise me, but these things still always surprise me. I really did like this. And I had it for much longer than that, of course. I had it for years before that. And just like the other lip glosses, I'm a broken record here. I do not pile this lip gloss on. I only need a little bit of it to do what I need it to do because I don't want to end up eating my lip gloss. I tried to get a little bit better with reapplying throughout the day. Um, when we were, you know, required to wear masks at work, that was a little bit harder to do, but like, I've been more mindful of reapplying. I don't like to reapply just for the sake of finishing it up. I genuinely want to reapply it as well. Um, so that has, I think, helped it empty out. In terms of numbers, I did have to use this 15 more times to finish it up, 90 times total since March of last year. Such a long time, I feel like I've always talked about this. So I'm so proud, one less product in my project. So we can finally boot that one out. I did enjoy it, but I, like with most makeup right now, I'm just not in that headspace to buy much of it at all. So that was a beautiful product, but not a repurchase at this moment or probably for a while. I still have two more lip products, guys. Um, I have the Tardis Lip Paint in the shade Birthday Suit, the free sample gift that Sephora gave a couple years ago. And you can see some windowing in there for sure. A lot of the product is stuck to the walls. It is very dry. Um, that's just the formula, but you can see how deep it goes. Uh, and it does look a little cakey. I'm sorry, that was a little gross, but yeah. And I definitely can get a lot more usage out of this, I think. I'm not exactly sure how much product is left towards the bottom, but it looks like there's a decent amount and you don't need a ton of this to get the look you want, you know? In the last update, I was saying how I wasn't sure if I could make this work with like a normal eye look. I felt more comfortable using this with like a smokier eye, but I found that I was able to make this work with a lot of looks actually. So I used this eight times since the last update, bringing me up to 11 times total, probably a bit more to go on that. My last lip product, we have the Bite Multi Stick, the old discontinued version in the shade Cashew. And my goal with this one was to use it 15 times. I used it seven times since the last update, bringing me up to 13 out of the 15 times. So I only have to use this two more times. And I actually did get a chance to use this as a blush too, which I really liked it that way. Um, 
I don't know why I never thought to do that. It is a multi-stick, but I feel like my head is very much like, this is a blush, this is a lipstick. Like, that's why I just never thought to use it as a blush, but I really liked it on my cheeks. Um, it was very natural looking. It was certainly easy to use it up to 13 times, so I didn't like struggle with it. Now we're up to the last category, which is perfume. And I have two of those. The first one is Falling in Love by Philosophy. And my goal is to finish this this year. Came down just a little bit. So the last thought, last time was here. Now I'm down to here. So this is pretty predictable as well with the progress, but I do still see progress. This bottle is tiny, so it's a lot easier for that line to come down. I could use it once and there'll be a difference. So I don't think I use this that much. Um, I'm starting to use this one a little bit more. I kind of was focusing more on the other perfume, but now that it's like getting a little bit brighter out, warmer out, like I've been more drawn to using this. So we're still moving along with it. I still love the smell of it. And I know this will be finished soon, soonish, you know, a couple months, but um, that one's still going strong. And the final product is the uh, Maybe Baby Perfume by Benefit. My goal is also to finish this up this year. Almost every day or the majority of days since the last update, I've been pulling for this perfume. And I marked it last time up to that line. Sorry, it's like shaking all over the place. But yeah, it was up to this line and I really couldn't see much of a difference at all and it wasn't worth it. It maybe came down like a hair, if that, having used it I don't know, 20 times, 25 times, something like that. So that hasn't come down at all. And I'm not discouraged though. I'm not discouraged. I know bottles like this can be hard to see visual progress when it hits like the widest part of the bottle. So once you get over that hump, I think you'll start seeing more visual progress. But right now there is none, even though I know I've been using it. I do still like this perfume. I might have to lay off on using it as much though because this to me is more of like a fall winter type of scent um because it smells like champagne and champagne to me tends to be fall winter i don't know why it just is i can see myself kind of lightening up on using this and focusing more on this guy or some other perfumes in my collection but even if i don't use it as much i still want to keep it in my project I might just bring it in later or just lighten up the usage overall. I just won't be using it as super consistently as I was this past month. So yeah, guys, I haven't been posting a whole lot of other content on my channel recently, um, besides maybe updates, empties, things like that. Um, I have been quite distracted and busy in life lately. It's just been tough these days to be focusing as much on YouTube. I have a lot of things going on, um, but I still want to commit to my projects and, you know, my empties videos and like things that I can actually process and think about making. That being said, I will continue to, of course, update you as usual on all my products and yeah, hope you consider liking and subscribing anyway. <laughs> I will catch you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching again. Bye.